Mm-hmm. And what is your actual title? You're, you're the chair of the Senate Taxes Committee, right? Yes, sir. Big shot. That's <laughs> all I know. Well, well I, some people like to think so, but I don't really believe that. <laughs> <laughs> well, <Yeah. laughs> are you from Lionel Lakes originally? Uh, no, I grew up out in the Western Burbs in New Hope. And well, you I did? got married okay. in the beautiful line of lakes. Thirteen, about thirteen lakes and ponds out here. It's beautiful. It's a wonderful thing. Um, I, I here's the problem I have with the whole thing. We were mm-hmm. basically following the rules. We Minnesotans mm-hmm. were following the rules from the time we were little kids, mm-hmm. and then we grew up. And and hey, you know, because we can write off our state taxes and some other local taxes federally, I could mm-hmm. uh, get a nicer house or get a nicer whatever. <laughs> Well, and all of a sudden they cut your legs off, and it's like instead of mm-hmm. easing it in, it's like here it is. Why do they do it that way? <laughs> well, you can imagine there's a lot of agendas and a lot of different things going yeah. on. But yeah. for Minnesota, you're, I don't disagree with you, Tom. But Minnesota is a high tax state, and it needs to adjust. But as far as the federal return, uh, what what you're essentially going to see with Minnesota taxes right now for this for tax year 18 is is essentially you'll be theoretically no change from 2017. Uh, we don't recognize st- federal law right now from the 2018 fix. So the fix for 2018 okay. that the feds put in, we don't recognize it. So essentially what Minnesota is going to have to do, Minnesota, Minnesota filers, is file according to the 2017 laws. What that means is theoretically there would be some people who see tax increases, but most Minnesotans will not. On the federal level, for example, if you're married, you have two kids, you have a median median income. You'll see between twenty five hundred and five thousand dollars in tax relief. You know, generally speaking. Uh, so theoretically, most people in this state will just be filling out something similar to what they had in seventeen. That said, mm-hmm. there's going to be a lot of work for folks, for a lot of folks, to reconcile to align with those other changes. So the department and the the private sector and the public sector had to work together to create the rules, the regs, the forms, the instructions, and the software to get us back to the 17 sort of numbers, if that makes sense. So you essentially should see little change in your Minnesota return. Your Fed return will be a lot different, but your Minnesota return will essentially be the same as it was 17. That's got to be fixed. We've got to make some adjustments, do some reform, but that's how it is for 2018 for Minnesotans. Yeah, and I, again, the only pro- yeah, it does. <laughs> okay, I mean, it really doesn't, uh, Senator. But but uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, again, it, it doesn't. Right, right. <laughs> here's 